Praise the Lord. Greetings to everyone in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Beloved, as I am contributing on the subject, our life on this earth and the kingdom of God. In the last message we heard, transfer our life from the earthly family to the heavenly family. The reason is this, earthly family cannot go beyond the gate of cemetery. But the heavenly family, it's an everlasting family and we can live with our heavenly father in whole eternity. Dear children of God, today we are going to think little more deep into that subject. Why should I transfer my life? Most of the people in the world, they are running behind bubbles. Means they are running behind the non-profitable side of this life. Our life has two sides, non-profitable side and the profitable side. Non-profitable side is only having maintenance. In profitable side, we will get profit in the kingdom of God. So don't forget to transfer your life from the non-profitable side to the profitable side. Dear children of God, according to Jesus or according to Bible, Jesus said in John chapter 6 verse 63, flesh profit nothing but the spirit gives life flesh profit nothing spirit gives life it means that in human life there is two part fleshly part and spiritual part in another way we can say outer man and inner man according to bible 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 there it's mentioned like this our outer man is perishing day by day but our inner man getting strength day by day can we read 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 the word of God says that but though our outward man is decaying, yet our inward man renewed day by day. So, the outer man is decaying, the inner man is getting strength or renewed day by day. So, Jesus said, it, there is no profit in the outer man's sight. Even though he toil, he works, he learn, he earn, and gather lot of money, lot of wealth, the end of the day, he will not be there to enjoy that because his outer man is decaying. So that part will never be profitable for us. Then you may have a question, then what is the use of that part? Dear children of God, that is the maintenance side of our life, not the profitable side. But the spiritual side is profitable side. The maintenance side, we have to give the same importance what the Bible asked us to do. Not more than that. But we were all deceived by Satan and we are using almost all the time gifted by God just to gather our physical things that will never pass the gate of cemetery. That's all in the maintenance side of our life not in the profitable side. See, you may have a question, then what is the use of this maintenance side in our life? Let me help you. When I had such question, God helped me with an illustration, with a small story. He enlightened in my heart. It was like this. A car and a car driver. This is just like our body structure. Car and a car driver. Car is carrying the car driver, but the car driver is driving the car. Once again, the car is carrying the car driver, but the car driver, the owner, he is driving the car. Likewise, our body is carrying us on earth, but we, 
the inner man is driving the body once again the car is carrying the driver but driver is driving or guiding the car same way our body is carrying us our body is carrying us means our inner man and the inner man is driving the body and in the case of car the car have maintenance and the driver who is driving the car he is making profit out of the car just consider an imaginary talk between the car and the car driver once the car asked its driver a hey driver what is my profit i am carrying you to everywhere what is my profit then the car driver replied your profit i am giving you petrol every 5000 km i am giving you oil filter not only that i service you polish you and keep you well almost all the time then the car replied hey senseless driver i never asked you how do you maintain me but i asked you what is my profit it seems to be car is more wiser than the car driver so the car driver become panic he never respected such a reply from the car and he replied back to the car my dear car your profit is zero i am making profit out of you once your period has been over i will throw you into the scrap yard your profit is zero see the car profit is zero but the car driver is making profit by using the car similarly our body is just like the car and the inner man who is dwelling in the body is like the driver our body have no profit that's what jesus said flesh profit nothing but the spirit the inner man have profit consider this same imaginary talk between our body and the inner man hey shaji hey mini hey rajesh hey christopher hey fernandes i am carrying you to everywhere you may have a question whether the body is carrying us or not in second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 is mentioned like this even though we walk in flesh we never were after the flesh so we walk in flesh just like the car is carrying the car driver second corinthians 5:10 is bible mentioned like this for we must all appear before the judgment seat of christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body the things done in his body the, now the inner man is dwelling and walking in the body just like the car is carrying the car driver so once the body asked us a question just like the car asked to the driver what is my profit then we may reply just like the car driver your profit i am giving you chapati i am giving you rice i am giving you biryani and i wash you and i keep you well almost all the time this may be our answer then same like the car our body may ask us back hey senseless man i never asked you how do you maintain me i asked you what is my profit so just like the car driver replied we may say hey body your profit is zero i am making profit out of you i am using you and i am making profit by you but when you are become weak your engine may have some problem your headlight has some problem 
your gearbox has some problem, your axle has some problem, your wheel has some problem, your alignment has some problem. Even though I repair you, finally you, are, you become not useful. So I will throw you into the scrap. The same way, if you have the wisdom, tell to your body, hey body, your profit is zero. I am making profit out of you. But as I am using you, you became old and your eyes may not work well, your ears may not work well, and your hands and your legs and your inner part, like lungs, chest and heart and walls of the body and walls of the heart, these all may not work well. And finally, you become a useless body and you die. I will not throw you into the scrap. People will bury you in the cemetery and you become dust within few days. Your profit is zero. So dear children of God, the bodily part, the profit is zero. Whatever we have in the bank or whatever we have in the world, whatever influence or any kind of infrastructure we have in the world all become zero, nothing in a day. So this is the reason we should shift immediately from the earthly family to the heavenly family. We will be here for a momentary period. We are here just like a passing cloud. Take a decision in your heart. I should not work all the days of my life in the non-profitable side of the life, but I will turn or I will transfer my life from the non-profitable side into the profitable side. We have two sides in our life, the maintenance side and the profitable side. The maintenance side is the fleshly side, profitable side, the maintenance side, the fleshly side, there is no profit, there is only maintenance, just like a car have maintenance. We need to give petrol, oil and filter and we need to clean and all. That's a maintenance side, just like our body have only maintenance, we need to give body physical food, just like roti, chapati, rice, biryani, that's all the maintenance side of the life. But our inner man is having the profit the profitable side, the inner man has to delve in the kingdom of God. So make profit when you are living in the maintenance side into the profitable eternal kingdom of God. So don't stick on the maintenance side and try to make profit there. That will never last. When you are working in the maintenance side, make profit in the profitable side. Just like the car driver is making profit out of the car. I believe God has spoken to you. So, dear brothers and sisters, don't run behind the bubbles of this life, but hold on the eternal pearl, the kingdom of God that will last forever so we can live with our heavenly father. God bless you. Blessings.